Welcome to the American College of Radiology's webinar on delivering value-based radiology. In this presentation, we'll explore how ACR Select can be used to drive imaging appropriateness and create utilization management. This presentation has been prepared by Dr. Christopher Ulrich, Chair of the ACR's Utilization Management Committee, and Bob Cook, Vice President of Marketing and Strategy for National Decision Support Company. We'll start with some definitions. Imaging appropriateness is performing the right procedure to ensure an appropriate diagnostic outcome related to a given set of clinical indications. Clinical decision support is an interactive system, which is typically computer-based, which is designed to assist physicians and other healthcare professionals with decision-making tasks. And utilization management, a topic we'll explore in this presentation, is the use of a clinical decision support system to ensure that imaging appropriateness is achieved. The cornerstone to imaging appropriateness is the American College of Radiology's appropriateness criteria. It represents the combined knowledge of hundreds of physicians, diverse medical societies, tens of thousands of hours of contribution by the membership, and covers 90% of the known clinical imaging scenarios. It truly represents a national standard for imaging appropriateness. However, in order to turn the appropriateness criteria into a decision support system, they have to become digitally consumable. They have to be turned into a software platform that can be used as part of a clinical decision support system. The ACR has formed a commercial entity so that this knowledge base can be created from the appropriateness criteria and consumed by clinical decision support systems. This commercial entity is National Decision Support Company. National Decision Support Company manages the delivery and integration of the knowledge base into clinical decision support systems, and the American College of Radiology manages the actual clinical content of the knowledge base. National Decision Support Company is the exclusive agent of the ACR for delivering of this content into the marketplace. The American College's role is to curate the clinical content based on market feedback obtained by NDSC and also based on development of new imaging procedures, member feedback, and input from other medical societies. When the content is deployed in the field, market feedback comes into the ACR Select platform, which represents aggregate user experience, which is fed to the ACR's appropriateness review panels, which generates content updates and is reflected in the form of new releases of the content by National Decision Support Company. NDSC's business model is to ensure that there is broad adoption of ACR Select for use in CPOE platforms, payer portals, or as a reference tool, and a variety of use cases. It does, though, by integrating the ACR Select rule set with integration partners, such as EMR vendors, where there's a direct integration of ACR Select into the CPOE tools of the electronic medical record application, through value-added resellers who may not be EMR vendors, but have a need to reflect the content in their third-party solution. Similarly, NDSC has also developed a portal to access the rule set, which can be used as a reference guide or an integration component in any of the scenarios just mentioned. And every decision support session is tied together by a unique decision support number to provide traceability. Some example use cases we'll explore here in this presentation are as follows integration of ACR Select into an EMR order entry workflow, for radiologist consultation and approval, payer authorization, for use as a reference tool, or even a patient engagement tool. The entire payment model for healthcare services is transforming towards rewarding the value of care. This includes imaging. In fact, future payment models are going to be based not on the volume of imaging that is performed on the value of imaging is performed. The new metric for success will be quality. So if we look at utilization management, we can ask ourselves, has imaging thus far used a clinical decision support system to ensure that appropriate care is delivered? In fact, the answer is no. Radiology has been subject to utilization management in the form of reimbursement cuts. 
which have been cut 12 times since 2005, which has of course had a direct impact on imaging utilization without any focus on quality or the value that radiology brings to the healthcare value chain. In addition, radiology benefits managers have been introduced, which introduce overhead, penalize the users, and only add additional cost to the imaging cycle. Imaging 3.0 is a change process led by the ACR for the field of radiology. It includes a set of technology tools that equip 21st century radiologists to ensure their key role in evolving healthcare delivery and payment models and quality patient care. We're going to introduce utilization management in an imaging 3.0 world, which is to drive towards appropriate use of imaging to ensure that the proper imaging test is performed and that the radiologist's role is defined as valuable, the right test at the right time, which is properly performed and interpreted, and a platform to create and promote the value of imaging. In fact, there is a proven link between the utilization of high-tech diagnostic imaging exams and the introduction of the appropriateness criteria. The Institute for Clinical Systems Improvement, ICSI, an independent non profit healthcare improvement organization in the state of Minnesota did a pilot study using five healthcare providers who tested the use of clinical decision support based on the appropriateness criteria for ordering high-tech diagnostic exams. This chart shows the utilization of high-tech diagnostic imaging exams prior to the implementation of decision support and after the implementation of decision support. You can see how post the implementation of decision support the utilization flattened versus what was projected over time based on the historical average. All five of these provider sites continue to use clinical decision support and the ACR's appropriateness criteria to drive the utilization of high-tech diagnostic imaging exams. And that gap represents opportunity for radiology. This opportunity translates into substantial savings for everybody in the healthcare delivery process. Over the course of the pilot, these five providers experienced a total savings of over $168 million. This presents tremendous opportunities for the radiologist to share in this financial gain through redefining their value proposition to their customers. There are opportunities across the entire radiology enterprise in the form of continuous improvement where real-time feedback is provided to ordering physicians. The radiologist can act as a consultant to the ordering physician to help improve their understanding of how best to utilize imaging and also to create consultations as to the most appropriate imaging procedure opposite the patient's condition. There are transparent analytics available to everyone in the care cycle so that the utilization of staff can be measured, as well the impact of appropriate imaging on the overall patient care cycle. Better imaging can reduce length of stay, and of course a better diagnosis leads to better care. And there are also efficiency benefits, especially in the area of the pre-authorization process when the appropriateness criteria is used at the point of care. We're going to explore how ACR Select integrates at the point of order with electronic medical record applications. We'll show you how we can assess the appropriateness of ordering using ACR Select, provide guidance to the ordering physician using ACR Select, and also provide consultation opportunities for the radiologist when needed as guided by ACR Select. When ACR Select is integrated with the EMR by NDSC, the goal is to avoid duplications of screens, clicks, and data entry at all levels of the workflow and perform most, if not all, of the decision support workflow within the existing CPOE. This ensures adoption by the ordering physician without introduction of additional overhead, screens, pop-ups, or workflow. 
In addition, the content is easy to integrate because there are no HL7 interfaces and there is no penalty for any users of the system. And all of the decision support data is recorded within the patient record so that the analytics can be produced to evaluate the impact of appropriate imaging on the overall patient care cycle. The integration can be as simple as having the ordering physician select from a structured set of indications versus a free text entry, which they would normally do, and place the order. In this case, ACR Select is used to record the appropriateness of imaging. In addition, workflows can be enabled at the time of order to guide the ordering physician to consult with radiology or even stop them the event inappropriate ordering behavior occurs. In this case, we'll explore how order entry within the EMR to record the appropriateness of imaging works. And it's simple. Order is placed within the EMR and the ordering physician simply records a structured reason for the exam using the ACR Select list of indications. ACR Select scores the exam in the background, generates a decision support number, and silently records the appropriateness of the order. Here's an example. The provider is ready to place an order. They create an order, order a CT head without contrast, enter a reason for exam, which is matched up against the ACR Select structured indications. They place and sign the order and the score is recorded silently for future analytics. This is an incredible tool to assess the appropriateness of imaging without burdening any ordering physician or radiologist with additional activity. In addition, when ACR Select is integrated with the AMR, it can be configured to present guidance to the ordering physician where again, the ordering physician records a structured reason for the exam versus their free text, and ACR Select scores the exam and presents guidance from its knowledge base to help guide the ordering physician to the correct exam. The ordering physician selects the exam, ACR Select generates a decision support number, and records the appropriateness of the exam in the EMR. Further, if the ordering physician selects an exam of questionable utility, the ACR Select can be configured to require a consultation with radiology for questionable orders. When workflows are enabled to prompt the ordering physician to consult with radiology, the radiologist's role in the patient care cycle expands and their visibility to the ordering physician and impact on the overall care cycle improves. Here's an example of how an ordering physician would be prompted to consult with radiology at the time of order for an exam of questionable utility. When the ordering physician encounters a scenario where there is questionable utility indicated by ACR Select, they are prompted to consult with radiology. The radiologist can review the decision support session data from within the ACR Select portal or from within their PACS or RIS system when ACR Select is integrated and can provide guidance to the ordering physician based on the information provided about the patient's condition. ACR Select records this entire transaction for future analytics and as part of documentations of the overall radiologist's involvement in the patient care cycle. For every decision support session, a unique decision support number is generated. ACR Select embeds this data inside of the EMR to document the impact of appropriateness on the overall patient care cycle. In addition, this decision support number can be recorded in every healthcare IT platform involved in the imaging cycle and be used by all stakeholders to link together this decision support data to document their impact on the overall patient care cycle. Here's an example of how those analytics can be used. In this case, we're seeing 
scores distributions by physicians over time, and how imaging appropriateness for this physician population has been improved over the period of from January to October. Then each an individual physician can be queried to determine their specific behavior. Let's take a look at the current utilization management model without ACR Select, where an RBM is in between the ordering physician and the radiologist. The RBM uses a proprietary set of criteria for decision making. There is no transparency across any of the stakeholders for any meaningful analytics about the impact of appropriate imaging on care. There is no access to the medical expertise by, on behalf of the ordering physician and there is no quality improvement data generally available. In the JACR, a recent article compared RBMs and the cost structure to evaluate whether or not they actually saved money. And the conclusions of the study were that the RBM shifts significant cost to physicians versus actually save any money in the healthcare process. And ICSI, in their study, has indicated that there are substantial cost savings of using a clinical decision support platform versus an RBM. In a future utilization management model driven by ACR Select, the radiologist and the ordering physician are directly connected, both having transparent access to analytics using a national standard set of criteria to drive the appropriate imaging, all of the data required to understand the benefits of appropriate imaging are recorded in the EMR, and there is interactive access to medical expertise. One might compare this model to using a website to book travel versus having to use the traditional model of contacting a travel agent. There are shared savings, an opportunity for shared risk models to create mutual incentive and tangible and transparent metrics associated with the benefit of imaging on the patient care process. This approach is catching on. In the state of Wisconsin, healthcare providers who use imaging decision support based upon the ACR's appropriateness criteria may now request an exemption from prior authorizations when ordering high-tech diagnostic imaging for Medicaid beneficiaries. This is a powerful endorsement of the impact that appropriate imaging can have on care and the overall delivery of healthcare in general. And at the federal level, the Sustainable Growth Rate Repeal Bill also includes language that would implement a program that would require ordering professionals to consult with appropriate use criteria for advanced imaging services. So ACR Select is really the new form of utilization management. It provides a platform for providers to deliver better care through imaging based on national standards guidelines, and it provides an opportunity for imaging to provide consults and guidance to the ordering physician so that the overall care cycle be improved and the value of radiology can be defined and documented. It can truly drive value-based radiology, appropriate imaging, improves care and saves cost. Proper consultation in the resulting exam can reduce length of stay and readmission rate. Utilization management by the experts, which is focused on the appropriate use of imaging resources. ACR Select creates simplicity and transparency, allowing physicians to focus on patient care versus navigating medically irrelevant workflows. And ACR Select creates a transparent platform for all stakeholders in the process to share data and align on outcomes. In summary, ACR Select is a national standard decision support system which is published by the imaging experts. It's an opportunity for radiology to transition the dialogue with its customers towards value-based care. It can create transparent, actionable metrics, appropriate imaging, not less imaging. Thank you for your time. Here are some references.